Hello everybody, this is Janice, and I'm going to be showing you in this video how I took this little stamp here, okay, and was able to get that from this. If you notice, the original has two little fish, and this one has stars on it, so I'm going to show you. And it is all just stamped, okay, I didn't cut it, well, I did do some cutting, I'll show you what I did. I just did some masking is basically what I did. I stamped the image and then I went in and I cut out those little fish. Ah, sorry. Okay, so I cut out those little fish and so that then I had this. And this I'm going to save and use it for another project because this is perfectly a perfectly good image. And what I did with the pieces that were left over was I added some repositionable adhesive. There's one and here's the other. Okay, now took my stamp and matched them up and tried. When I cut it out, I made sure that the outline of the box was still able to be stamped you know what I mean. And here is the other one. I think this one could be cut a little bit more. If you notice that there's still a little bit of black there, you can trim that up. You could trim this side up. And then we're going to, and it's all black because I've already used it several times because I was playing with it. Make sure it's not going to fall off. Then we're going to take our memento or whatever ink you want to use. I like memento a lot. Okay. And then we're going to do this part is really important. You need to take off the masks and just put them aside. I have inked these several times. And then we're going to take and we're going to stamp it down. Make sure you press down really hard. Okay. And so there. Okay, so now you can take any of those teeny tiny stamps. I have this, one of the stamps that I have, I have several that have tiny stamps on them. This one's one I got at Christmas time. I actually won it from Kathy of Cats. Thank you, Kathy. I'm still enjoying my free set that I won from your giveaway. Um, but it's from Close to My Heart, and it's called Tag the Occasion. Right there. And um, it's a great little set. But I decided to use a star. Just because that's your good for everything, kind of. But I mean, I could have done a heart. I could have done the flower. I chose the star. And then I'm just using my squeezed lemonade. Have you seen the summer colors? Oh my gosh. Well, they're on the way. Robin and I ordered them together. Thank you, Robin. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take and let's see if I can. Okay. And so what I did to make them stand out more is I just took my jelly roll pen and just um, try to do this this camera tripod in my way and just literally just outlined it. It's not super, you know, precise or anything. And that's it. And then I took some see, these Stardust markers and I colored in the words, just add water. And I'm not going to do that because you know how to color. You could use anything you have, your Copics, any other markers you might have just to fill in the word. And if I wanted to, I could like add some doodles here, which I didn't do, but I might go ahead and add that. 
And so there you have it. Okay, and that's how I customized my little just to add water stamp. So look around in your stash and see if maybe you have some stamps that you can customize and you can make your own and, um, and get more mileage out of them. So thanks for watching. Bye.